Once again, I praise God for this beautiful, blessed moment. And I thank God for this wonderful time that He has given me one more time. He has given me the one more opportunity to come and study the Word of God, the living Word of God. And also I thank Almighty God for keeping me alive. I do not know many people in this world. In day to day life, every day people are losing their life in different places of this world. But apart from that, no matter how much I am sinner, but God has kept me safe, God has kept me alive, thank God for that. And today I am very much happy that God has given me one more opportunity, one more time to tell you about the word of God, the word the scripture is saying to all humanity, the word the Bible is saying to all human beings living in this world. The Bible is only saying that to repent from their sin and to come to Jesus Christ. As we know, friends, that this few days we are studying all about repentance, about what repentance means and how we can repent and why should we repent. We're studying about that and we all know that repentance means just turning away from the evil desire to God, turning away from the sinful desire of this world towards God. And how we can repent is only when we study the word of God, when we understand the love of God, when we understand the unfailing love of God and His plan of salvation. And so when we understand His love, mercy, kind and His graces upon us, we will repent from our sin. When we understand that God is everything to us in this world, when we understand that God is everything in this world, then anything that is in this world for us. Oh friends, today let me tell you that our God, He loves us. Our God wants us to repent from our sin and come to Him and live with Him forever in heavenly kingdom. And as we're studying about uh, why we need to repent, and here I have chosen five points, and today we'll be studying the first point. And that first point is that repentance led Jesus Christ to forgive us. That is the first point I've chosen for tonight. Repentance led Jesus led Jesus Christ to forgive us our sin. Friends, today with the people, we need forgiveness from our God. Friends, let me tell you that if for anyone, if this message is first time, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe it. And you can just go and type it as Prosenjit Murmur and Time Youth Messenger. And you can just subscribe to my channel and you'll get more world lively message of God and which will help you to grow spiritually strong for Christ in your day to day life. So friends, today we will be studying about that repentance led God to forgive us our sin. Today people in this world, we need forgiveness from everyone. We need, we need to repent ourselves in order to get this for, forgiveness from God. Today without forgiveness, there is no salvation. Without forgiveness, you will not enter into the heavenly kingdom. Without forgiveness, you will not able to come to Jesus Christ because when you continue to sin and sin and when you do not repent then how will you expect someone to forgive you for example when you make some mistakes to someone if that person will not forgive you how you expect that you will able to talk with that person how you expect that you will able to have a communication with that person that you will talk with that person that you will make friendship with that person unless and until you ask forgiveness of your wrong deed unless and until you ask forgiveness of your mistake unless and until you ask about making your friends hurt or making that person discouraged then only that person will forgive you in the same way friends today let me tell you our God is someone that he wants to forgive us but we need to confess our sin we need to confess our sin to Jesus Christ for example if you see here father and the son when the son is making a mistake towards father, when the son is disobeying to father, when the son is a, dis, when the son is hurting his father, when the son is not going according to according to what his father said, when the son is not doing according to what his father said, father will be discouraged, and between them there will be big suppression, there will be big gap. And father and son cannot be together. Why? Because here the son is not obeying what father is saying. Why? Because here the son is not doing what father wants him to do. And in, because of that, here the father is discouraged. Here father is not happy and therefore he cannot talk with his son. 
and therefore they cannot stay together. But when son accepts his mistake, when son went to the father and asked forgiveness of his sin, when son went to his father and asked the forgiveness for what he had done, for what mistake he had done, then definitely father will forgive him. And the son and father will be together and father will forgive the son. And not only they will be close, they will have a good relationship between one another. And your son will get whatever he needs in his life through his father. Because father loves him because his son is already good. Because his son repent already. Because his son asks forgiveness. Because his son starts to obey his father. Father will be happy and father will try to provide everything that his son needs. In the same way today people in this world, our almighty God Heavenly Father, He knows what we need. We have made a mistake against Him, we have disobeyed Him, we have hurt, hurt Him, and also we have made our God discouraged. We have disobeyed Him. We are not doing the things what our God wants us to do. And therefore today our Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, He is discouraged. And because of that, He is disheartened. And because of that, Today, there's a big separation between humanity and God. Between the humanity of this world and God of heaven. There's a big separation and therefore humanity and God, they cannot be together. They cannot come together. That they can talk and discuss about what they can do for the better man of the life for human being. Yet, Father still pleading to Son pleading the world to repent from their sin. And that is what our Almighty God, Heavenly Father, is pleading to the world through the scripture, the word of God. This is the love letter of God which God has given us. All of will st until we study, will not understand the what our Almighty God is saying to us. Let us see in the Bible, what does the Bible says? God says that if we ask forgiveness, if we ask forgiveness from God, He is ever willing to forgive us and He is willing to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we see friends, here it says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, here it says that if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our God, our Almighty, is, He promised us already that if we confess our sin, He is willing to forgive us our sin from all unrighteousness. Friends, today, are you confessing your sins to God? Are you saying to God, I am sorry Lord for the past sin that I have done. I am sorry Lord for all the sin that I have done. I am sorry Lord for all the bad thing, all the dirty thing, all this bad thing that I have done and which has made you sad, which has made you discouraged, which, through which you are not happy. Lord, I am sorry for that, that I want to repent now and I want to live a good little life, godly life. I want to spend time with you. I want to have close relationship with you. Are you asking that? Are you praying to God for this? Today, friends, God promises already that He's willing to forgive us. Today, I want to ask forgiveness from God, saying to God to forgive me my sin, saying God to forget all my past deeds, saying God to make me to stay with Him, saying God that He will take me along with Him wherever we go in this world. Friends, no matter what your sin may be, no matter what your past sin may be, friends, there is a God of heaven who loves you. The reason why you are surviving till now, the reason why you are living till now, because God loves you. Because God has given you one more opportunity to repent from your sin and to come to Jesus Christ. Here it says in, in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 to 20, here it says that, Come now, let us return together, say the Lord. Though your sins may be scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they may be red as crimson, they shall be white as wool. Friends, your all, Almighty God says, Come now, let us return to the said the Lord. No one said, friend, our Lord, our Almighty God, He said, let us return together. Though our sins may be as a crimson blood, it will be white as snow. Friends, today our God is willing to forgive us our sin. Today our God is willing to add us our sin. And here it says that if ye will be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye shall refuse and reveal, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3 says that if we 
turn to God, then the God will turn to us. Today, let us turn to God, friends. Let us turn to God. Just let us ask forgiveness. Let us repent from our sin. Our God is there. He's ever ready. As long as you live in this world, God is forgiving you. God is giving you a chance and time to repent from your sin and come to Jesus Christ and live with Him. God is God wants you and me to survive and live a good life, to live a godly life, to reflect the character of God so that it will be good for you and good for me. I hope and pray that you will be blessed with the message. So may God bless us all abundantly and please subscribe my channel and let us wait for next next sermon. We are going to listen very soon. So may God bless us all abundantly. Amen.